our very first lesson, we will talk about science. What is science? The word science comes from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge. As for today, science can be defined as a process, a system of knowledge, and a field of study to get a better understanding of the world we live in. The main purpose of doing science is to explain everyday phenomena and derive models of reality. Science can be divided into two broad divisions, the physical sciences and the biological sciences. The physical sciences deal with the study of non-living things and can be divided into the following specific fields. Chemistry, where we learn about matter. Physics, where we deal with the interaction of matter and energy. And earth science, where we study about earth. Earth science is further divided into astronomy, the study of celestial bodies. Geology, the study of the Earth's crust and its changes. Hydrology, the study of fresh water like rivers and streams. Meteorology, the study of Earth's atmosphere. And oceanography, the study of oceanic phenomena. The biological sciences are involved with the study of living things and can be divided into two main branches. Botany the study of plants, and zoology, the study of animals. These two branches are further subcategorized into anatomy, the study of internal structures and form of organisms, cytology, the study of cells, physiology, the study of functions and activities of cells, organs, and tissues, embryology, the study of development of organism from a fertilized egg. Genetics. The study of heredity. Taxonomy. The study of grouping and naming of living things. And morphology. The study of external forms and structures of organisms. Other sciences include the interconnection between these two broad divisions. For example, biochemistry the study of substances in living organisms and their reactions, microbiology, the study of microscopic organisms, and ecology, the study of the relationships between living organisms and their environment. In doing science, a scientist must possess scientific attributes which include patience, open-mindedness, honesty, curiosity, hard work, critical thinking, and a long-lasting interest to search for truth. To solve problems at hand, scientists use a systematic way called the scientific method. It includes the following steps. Identification of the problem based on relevant observations. Formulation of an intelligent guess referred to as hypothesis. Collection of data through experimentation. Analysis of data. And drawing conclusions. This scientific method can also be applied in daily lives. For example, a mechanic has to repair a broken car. First, he makes observations by trying to start up the car examining the gauge, and listening to the engine sound. He then makes a hypothesis about what causes the problems. Faulty parts of the car are then repaired and replaced. Then the mechanic tests the car again to see if it can run properly. Finally, the condition of the car is established. Most of the problems can be solved successfully using the scientific method, and it plays a great role in scientific progress. Science and technology are often mentioned together. What is their relationship? Basically, technology is the practical application of the science with the purpose of providing benefits to humankind. 
You can find examples of technology everywhere, such as cars, elevators, cameras, soap, medicine, clothing, processing foods, and of course, the device you are using to watch this video. Despite making our lives easier in many ways, science and technology can have their negative impacts also, and they can be quite dangerous. Examples include environmental pollution, new diseases, global warming, and climate change. Therefore, as a student of science, you should be able to decide wisely which part of science and technology can be advantageous or disadvantageous to human lives. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.